Hi guys, EVP Man with Tablets for me. And today I wanted to share some tips on how you can make sure that you get accurate readings every single time you use your heart rate monitor on the Gear Fit. So I've seen many posts uh, of complaints around the accuracy or just being able to get the Gear Fit to uh, take your uh, your heart rate. And I've been now using the Gear Fit for um, a week. I've been um, using it for running. Um, as well as other exercises. And I can say that my experience has not been uh, what I've seen on the internet as far as the device not being able to pick up your heart rate. But I did play around with it to try to make it fail. And here are some of the observations. Uh, on the bottom, you know right here you have this heart, this, this sensor, right, that, that you see it right there, that needs to be uh, pressed against your skin. And the key, the key there is that it has to be pressed against your skin. So I've been uh, noticing that if, let's say I wear the, the band this way, and it looks like it's on, right? But notice how there's a gap here. See how there's a gap? Yeah, so you can see even on the side. And it moves around. You will not get an accurate reading. Actually, when you press the button and you try to make it read, it's going to take a very long time and it's not going to read accurately. So that's the one thing. It cannot be loose. You cannot have something that moves like this. The other thing that I noticed is that folks are wearing the heart rate monitor right here on the bone. So you see how you have your wrist bone right here? If you have it resting right on the wrist bone, it's not going to work either. It's going to fail. So you need to have it right beneath the wrist bone, um, not above the wrist bone, but right uh, right above it, as, as, as I'm illustrating right here. And then also, it needs to be a little tighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it one more notch on. And you notice now, it's not moving. And it's tighter. Now there's no gap. If you notice right here, there's no gap between my skin and the heart rate monitor. Right? So it has to be tight. And the other thing is that if you're not running uh, and you're not in the exercise mode, you have to give the sensor some time. If you think about it, uh, those of you who've gone to the doctor and maybe you've had your blood pressure um, tested, you notice that, and even with some of the digital ones, they're telling you, you have to stay still. You have to be in a certain position. You have to have your hand, um, you know, like uh, uh, close to your heart and whatnot. Um, well, the same thing is true with this. So let me show you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm, and here's uh, my heart rate monitor, right? And I'm going to press start. Now, it will take a couple seconds for it to, to, to measure my heart rate. Uh, but once again, I have it underneath my, above my, uh, above the, my wrist bone. And you notice how I took it. I'm going to do it this way again, and I'm going to do another one. And you can see how consistently I'm going to get my heart rate um, all right, is, is going to show up. And it, once again, it does take some time. But you notice no problems. I'll do it one more time. Third time, we'll do it. Do it this way. See, every single time. If I put it on the bone, let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get that going. Now, this is where I get hit or miss type. Um, it's still The band is still tight, so it may get it, but right now it's on top of the, the bone. It still picked it up. So I'm still getting some really good uh, results uh, no matter where I place it. But the tip there is to make sure that the band is tight enough so that there's no gap and that that sensor is right on top of your uh, touching your skin. I, I will say that I used it for, for running, and it was able to keep my heart rate monitor or the monitoring um, at all times. It never lost the signal, but again, I was keeping it tight to, the, to my skin. And again, it's not so tight where, you know, I'm stopping, um, you know, any kind of blood flow or it's not comfortable. So those are some of the tips um, or just a few things to watch out for when you're using the, the Fit gear and how you can get your heart rate monitor um, to continually work without any failures. Uh, hope this helps for those of you who are just trying to figure this gadget out. I'll be posting some other tips uh, and uh, I would say some observations that I've had uh, for the gear uh, fit in the next few days as I continue to experience or experiment with it.